We're going to have a great time in this video. We're diving into discoveries that simply don't add up, things that even top scientists struggle to make sense of. Well, science can solve a lot of mysteries, but it doesn't have solutions for everything. In fact, some things in this world have left experts just as puzzled as the rest of us, and you're about to see exactly what we mean in this video. Number 15. The Manus Bone Projectile A team led by Dr. Michael Waters from Texas, A&M unearthed a piece of history that rewrote the early timeline of the Americas. The Manus Bone Projectile Point, dating back 13,900 years, was found embedded in a mastodon rib in Washington State. At first, it seemed just another dig from the late 70s, but advanced CT scans and 3D reconstructions decades later revealed the bone fragments formed part of a spear. This predates the iconic stone tools of the Clovis culture by centuries, making it the oldest known bone weapon in North America. Made from mastodon bone and used to hunt the same beast, it's both a tool and a record of survival. The site, known as the Manus Site, offers rare insight into the innovation of early humans. It proves these early settlers weren't just aimlessly wandering. They had skill, strategy, and sharp ingenuity. We say just one thing. This isn't just an artifact. It's a direct link to the first Americans navigating the Ice Age. Number 14. Baalbek's Monolith at the ancient site of Baalbek in Lebanon, archaeologists from the German Archaeological Institute uncovered a staggering monolith, easily the largest known stone block ever carved by human hands. This giant measures 64 feet in length, nearly 20 feet wide, and stands at least 18 feet high. Estimated weight? Well, a mind-numbing 1,650 tons. That's heavier than any of the legendary Trilithon stones that form the Temple of Jupiter's base nearby. Baalbek's roots stretch back to at least 7,000 BCE, but no one can agree on how such monstrous stones were cut, moved, or even positioned. Some researchers, including Graham Hancock, speculate that these blocks could date back more than 12,000 years, long before the Romans arrived. The new block sits near the Hajar al-Hibla stone and appears smoother, likely prepared for transport. But like its neighbor, it may have been left behind due to imperfections. It's a reminder that even ancient builders, as advanced as they were, faced limitations they couldn't always overcome. Number 13. The Twin Medieval Cogs of Varberg in 2022, during a pre-construction survey for a railway tunnel in Varberg, archaeologists found something wild. The wrecks of two medieval cogs, seafaring cargo vessels from the 14th century. The land is dry now, but back in the day, this was the coastline of Gedeker. Cogs from this era are rare enough, but finding two, nearly side by side, is unheard of. One of them is remarkably well-preserved, with the entire port side intact. Measuring 67 feet in length and 16 feet in width, it's now considered the best preserved medieval ship of its kind ever found in Sweden. The second vessel, smaller and more damaged, measures 26 by 15 feet. Dendrochronology reveals the timber came from France and Poland, dating the ships to 1346 and 1357, respectively. These weren't local builds. Why they sank, or if they went down together, remains unanswered. But their sudden reappearance offers a rare glimpse into the trading networks of the medieval Baltic. Number 12. Gunjiwamp Gunjiwamp, a cluster of stone circles and chambers in Groton, is one of those sites that never lines up neatly with the history books. Artifacts from totally different time periods turn up layered on top of each other, with no obvious explanation. Colonial items have been found inside what look like Neolithic burial chambers. On top of those, even more old stone rings. And scattered across the stones are cryptic inscriptions no one has translated with confidence. The layout, the mix of materials, and the lack of a clear origin have sparked all kinds of fringe theories from lost Celtic monks in the 6th century to pre-Columbian transatlantic travelers. 
But the one thing researchers can agree on is this. The place predates those stories. Excavations suggest it was inhabited at least 3,500 years ago. No one knows who built it, what it was meant for, or why it has such a chaotic archaeological fingerprint, but its confusion is exactly what keeps it alive. Number 11. Vinca Symbols Among the pottery and figurines unearthed across Central and Southeastern Europe, a set of puzzling marks stands out, the Vinca Symbols. These Neolithic-era etchings, found on artifacts from over 150 sites like Tartaria and Vincha, have divided scholars for more than a century. They stopped appearing around 3,500 BCE, and their meaning remains a complete mystery. Some believe they're an early form of writing, while others call them proto-writing, not yet developed enough to convey full language. The sheer volume, over 5,000 cataloged symbols, suggests intentional use. Many resemble animals, crosses, or geometric figures. They even predate the Sumerian cuneiform system by over a thousand years, which shakes the timeline of written history. While theories include ritualistic markings or ownership tags, no consensus exists. With no Rosetta Stone equivalent, decoding them has been slow but their presence across such a wide area points to a lost network of culture far older than we once thought even possible. Number 10. Code of Ur-Namu Before Hammurabi laid down the law, there was this. Dating back over 4,000 years, the Code of Ur-Namu is widely regarded as the earliest known law code. It was originally etched onto clay tablets in Sumerian, Mesopotamia's earliest language. The first tablet was found in 1952 at Nippur, Iraq, and currently resides in the Istanbul Archaeological Museum. Although the tablet was damaged, only five laws were readable. That changed in 1965, when more copies were found in the ancient city of Ur, revealing around 30 out of the 57 laws. King Ur-Namu of Ur, who ruled between 2112 and 2095 BCE, is credited with authoring them. The code lays down strict rules, death for murder and robbery, but oddly, kidnapping only drew a fine and jail time. That detail alone speaks volumes about how these ancient societies prioritized property over people. What's left of the tablets still challenges historians today as they piece together the origin of justice itself. Number 9. The Cockno Stone In West Dunbartonshire, Scotland, a massive 42-foot-long stone slab lies etched with symbols that no one's managed to decipher. Known as the Cockno Stone, it was first recorded in 1887 and became a curiosity, attracting attention for its intricate cup and ring marks, a ringed cross, and even what look like footprints with four toes. These motifs are found across ancient Europe, yet their meaning has never been cracked. By 1965, the stone was deliberately buried, not for ceremony, but for preservation, after years of erosion and vandalism. It wasn't until recently that archaeologists returned to unearth it, armed with high-resolution scanning tech in hopes of gaining better insight. The symbols date back nearly 5,000 years, placing the Cockno Stone in the Neolithic period. Though it's one of the most detailed examples of this symbolic language ever found, its original purpose, whether spiritual, astronomical, or something else, remains one of Scotland's most enduring archaeological puzzles. All right, guys, now let's head over to... Number 8. The Meister Print In 1968, while fossil hunting in Utah's Wheeler Formation, William Meister cracked open a rock and found something he wasn't expecting, what looked like a shoe print embedded next to trilobite fossils. The formation is 500 million years old. The print had a clear structure, heel, arch, and toe division, matching the dimensions of a modern-sized ten-and-a-half shoe. That comparison stirred immediate controversy. Some called it definitive evidence of human activity in impossibly ancient strata. Others pointed to a natural explanation, 
spalling, where layers of rock flake off and form familiar shapes. But no one could deny the precision of the impression or the bizarre placement among prehistoric marine fossils. For mainstream science, the case was closed. It was dismissed as a geological fluke. But for those outside the box, it remained a thorn in the narrative of human history. Whether accident or artifact, the Meister print remains one of the most argued over anomalies in North American paleontology. What do you think about it? Number 7. Ishii no Hoden. Well, Japan is a pretty futuristic country, but even here, some of its most mind bending sights come from the ancient past. Take Ishii no Hoden, for example. It's a 500 ton stone slab carved so precisely. It appears to float just above a pond in Takasago, Hyogo Prefecture. Locals call it the floating stone, and it's not just a visual trick. The water below never dries, never overflows, and somehow rises and falls with the tides, despite being up a mountain. There's no record of how it was made. There were no tools, carvings, or any reason. Just a perfectly sculpted giant sitting in silence. Legends say the gods Ukuninushi and Sukunabikona were building a castle here but abandoned it overnight. During a deadly epidemic 2,000 years ago, the same gods reportedly appeared in a dream, demanding worship in exchange for salvation. The plague stopped, and ever since, pilgrims have come to this stone, not for answers, but for the comfort of something enduring, something untouched by time, something sacred. Number 6. The Chinese Bai Disc Roughly 7,000 years ago, Neolithic Chinese aristocrats were buried with jade discs placed across their chests. These circular objects, called Bai, weren't just decorative. Jade was one of the hardest materials they could have chosen, and working it without metal tools required weeks of polishing and abrasion. Yet the effort was repeated across tombs in the Liangzhu and Hongshan cultures. Most Bai bear inscriptions tied to celestial imagery pointing to a symbolic connection with the heavens, but their exact purpose remains unsolved. There were easier materials to use, but none were chosen. That deliberate choice suggests jade meant something deeper, possibly power, purity, or a bridge to the divine. Archaeologists have found these discs consistently across high-ranking graves, always placed deliberately, often centered over the heart. With no texts from that era explaining their use, the Bai remain a cultural enigma, carrying a quiet, unbroken message that modern researchers are still trying to understand. Number 5. The Persian Mummy Hoax in 2000, a mummy surfaced in Pakistan, allegedly belonging to Rodagun, daughter of King Xerxes of Persia. Dressed in gold with a breastplate engraved in cuneiform and entombed in an elaborately layered coffin, she appeared to be a once-in-a-lifetime archaeological find. The claim, 2,600 years old. But something didn't sit right. Language experts flagged the inscription's grammar as clumsy. Further forensic analysis flipped the entire story. This wasn't ancient. The body was barely four years dead, likely a young woman who suffered a broken neck. It became clear the whole thing had been staged, either by grave robbers trying to fake a historic treasure or something even darker. What started as a potential breakthrough in Persian archaeology quickly turned into a criminal investigation. The identity of the woman remains unknown and the origin of the body is still unsolved. No one has been held accountable for the deception or the death. Number 4. The Plant Theory Behind Ancient Stonework Some ancient stonework is so precisely shaped, it raises more than a few eyebrows. In several regions, huge stones appear cut and molded in ways that suggest something more than chisels or hammers, smooth curves, exact angles, and clean impressions that resemble the feel of wet cement. One theory, still debated and far from proven, suggests that ancient builders may have used plant-based mixtures to soften stone before shaping it. It sounds impossible, 
Yet carvings like the handprints at Wyoming's White Mountain bring that theory back into focus. These prints look as if someone pressed into soft stone, something that shouldn't happen without heat, water, or tools. No confirmed recipe or source plant has ever been found, but it's possible the materials, if real, were over-harvested into extinction. If such a technique existed, it could explain how some ancient civilizations managed to move and sculpt massive stones with no metal tools or heavy machinery. Number 3. Borujerd's Ancient Aqueducts In Borujerd, Iran, an ancient castle revealed more than expected during a routine construction survey. Hidden beneath its crumbling structure was a fragile water system an aqueduct so old that dating it precisely has proven nearly impossible. The entire network is built from thin clay pipes and pottery crocks, designed to purify water before delivering it throughout the fortress. It's a clever solution from a time when waterborne illness was poorly understood, yet feared. This wasn't just a stronghold. It was likely home to government or military elites, which would explain the engineering effort behind securing fresh, filtered water. With over 60 towers once surrounding Borujerd, the aqueduct fits into a larger, highly fortified settlement. Now, archaeologists face a dilemma, whether to leave the delicate piping system intact or dismantle it carefully for study. Until a decision is made, they're documenting every inch of it. Number 2. Sahasralinga In Karnataka, the submerged site of Sahasralinga hides a strange mystery beneath the flow of a man-made reservoir. For most of the year, the site rests underwater, but when dry season comes and the reservoir is drained, thousands of ancient rock carvings reappear, sparking both fascination and confusion. These stone formations are arranged with careful symmetry and unusual precision. Some feature weather-worn inscriptions, but they're too degraded to decipher. The origins of the engravings were lost long before modern archaeology ever had a chance to document them. What's most puzzling is the technique. Many of these shapes appear to have been cut using tools or methods far more advanced than what should have existed before the flooding. While pilgrims continue to visit Sahasralinga for its spiritual significance, the technical side of the site raises unresolved questions. No records remain of the builders, and the water erased what little evidence there may have been about their tools or intentions. Number 1. Mohenjo-Daro Mohenjo-Daro, a city buried in Pakistan's Sindh province, is one of the most jaw-dropping relics of the Indus Valley civilization. Dating back to around 2500 BCE, it stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with ancient Egypt and Mesopotamia. At its peak, roughly 40,000 people lived here, in a city planned with chilling precision. Zoned residential blocks, public baths, and sewage systems that put even medieval Europe to shame. It was centuries ahead of its time. Artifacts numbering in the tens of thousands have been unearthed here, from ornamental jewelry to engraved seals and metal tools. But the city's sudden collapse around 1900 BCE still baffles archaeologists. No war, no massive flood, just a sharp, quiet disappearance. And now, 5,000 years later, Mohenjo-Daro faces another threat. Erosion, salinity, and heavy foot traffic from tourism. UNESCO warns it could crumble in just two decades. Some experts argue the only way to save it is to bury it once again. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content like this. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you soon in the next one.